How do you feel about, and you were on this thing for a good year. Oh How God. do you feel about keeping up Kardashians coming to an end? I, 20 seasons and 14 years. The show will be done after the final season airing in early 2021. Wow. What are your thoughts about that? I, I got a tear. I got a tear coming well, out. You were eye. in it for a year, for a good year. You were 2011. Yeah. I was in it the, the wedding, the wedding season, w literally the wedding season. Um, something tells me, despite this show going away, these women are not going away anytime soon. <laughs> They're going to still be out there um, doing their thing. But um, time to move uh, on to a, a new group of thoughts. On E, you know, the, I don't think E can get rid of the brand. I mean, they've got to stay on on some level. Some, I mean, Chris Jenner's not giving that up. So somehow they're staying. You know, it's funny. You, you had the thing in 2011, Adam, at the wedding, right? Let's not yep. sh sugarcoat it. In 2009, I helped a friend who was uh, opening up Sushi Samba in Las Vegas. So he wanted me to help him get some celebrities. Most now, overpriced sushi restaurant <laughs> right? on the freaking like, planet. have it in South Beach as well. Uh, Lincoln Land, Road. So, all the time. Yep. I, you know, short notice, $15 I was, I was trying to help soup. him get some celebrities just to show up, just to walk the red carpet. This yeah. is 2008. It's either 2008 or 2009. So maybe the Kardashian show was a few months old. Everybody knew who Kim was, right? But so on short notice, I was able to help him get Baron Davis. Not bad. He did. Yeah. That's big. That's big baller back then. Um, Courtney Kardashian. Nice. And Nikki Hilton. Okay, but just to put it into perspective of this Kardashian Jenner empire, this mm -hmm. is 2009. You know what their appearance fee was back then to walk the red carpet only. And they weren't doing interviews. They weren't. They probably didn't even G's. hang. 25 G uh -huh. for Courtney Kardashian a few months that's into nothing. the show. Twenty-five. I know, but back. I mean, I thought for back then, before she was a huge. But wow. I mean, right now, you know, that's that's, you ain't gonna low. pay twenty-five. Oh grand no, that, that's, that's my point. Even they paid today. me twenty-five grand to walk the red carpet back then. Come on, Tom. <laughs> no, you gotta get a better no, deal. No, 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 come on. I'm, I'm talking about when nobody knew yeah, who they were. So right. think about 11, 12 years later, how much they're making. I mean, I mean, if, if Scott Disick, Listen. you know, spins at at a, at a Vegas club, it's a half million. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you one thing about these guys, the Kardashians, if. If they ever wrote a book on marketing, it will be a number one bestseller week after week after week because there's brilliance to the Kardashian last name. You know, to be able to stay relevant for 20 seasons, 14 years where people have interest watching you from all walks of life, from yeah. executives to the everyday people, and each of you have 100 million followers on Instagram building an empire together, yeah. it's a lot of respect to them. So here's the question for you. The question becomes, Who's the next family that people care about to replace the Kardashians? The Trumps, yeah. We, I mean, we already got that. It's not, it's not, but who's going to keep? Who's going to be the, the next story? The, here's the problem. Do they go recruit a family like that? There's no way you can be as interesting as the Kardashians when you consider Bruce Jenner and the gender, you know, yeah. change for him. Yeah. When you consider that Robert Kardashian was involved in the OJ case. I mean, the sex tape for Kim, married to Kanye, running for president. Shh, who knows what she's doing next? Wants to take on Martha Stewart. I don't think there's any country or any family that you can approach that could even remotely come close to this. I think they have to somehow stay attached to the Kardashian-Jenner brand. Now, Kylie's too big. Kendall's too big. So I'm not sure what you do. Maybe you go after Courtney's kids or something. I'm not sure. But there's no family that can like even close, closely come to this. And the, and the thing to watch is... Who's Ryan Seacrest going to go after? If Ryan Seacrest ordains somebody, it's going to happen. But if not, if he's not involved, it won't. You know, the, the, the big story, the, the, the most uh, non-story that, that you hear from the – like the women are killing it, obviously. Yeah. Kim, Courtney, Chloe, Chris, Kendall, Kylie, all the, all the girls. Let's take a, just a quick look at what's happened to all the men in that situation. The father, dead. Right? At age like 45. How'd that happen? That was cancer, though, right? I mean, okay, I'm just saying. He's dead. He didn't... He didn't. The, the, the second father. Well, now he's the mother. Bruce Jenner. Okay. Robert Kardashian, the son. No one's seen this guy in years. Yeah. Years. He, he married a stripper. Had a kid with her. Nowhere to be found. Right? Lamar Odom. Full-on crackhead. <laughs> Rehab, nowhere to be found, right? Out of the league, ruined his entire career. Scott Disick, good-looking dude. I've partied with this guy many a times. Rehab, now he's literally dating a 19-year-old girl with three kids. He has three kids. He was seen being with Courtney, by the way, just yeah. this last week. Raising the kids. Yeah, I mean, yeah. okay. So who else you got there? 
Um, so are you say obviously Kanye, who is certified nuts in a good way, because I think it oh, makes he was brilliant nuts music pre Kardashian. <laughs> yes, but so now it's, can't blame it's, it's, it's been amplified. Yeah. Um, so what, Adam, what other guys are there? You're saying K for cursed, right? For I'm the just, men, and in that, then in that my lineage? boy Chris with a K. He got out. He got out. You know, made sixty million in the NBA. He, you know, he got out. Uh, sort of unscathed. Not, you know, the, not the, rehab. Not dead. Not obese. When, when okay. they got a divorce, did he have to pay half his wealth to her or no? <laughs> no, like she had to happen. pay him. She, she had more wealth than him. They so were married. She did pay him or no? So. hundred oh, days, right? I think it was, was just. Uh, wow, she got it. He got her a big yeah. uh, ring. It was a, yeah. What? Believe me, if you know anything about that guy, he ain't dropping two million dollars on a freaking <laughs> ring. It was sponsored by Sotheby's or Tiffany's or got some it. some fancy. So thing. what you're suggesting I'm just to saying the listeners the, for everybody that's listening, I think what Adam is saying, if you get a chance to date one of them, think twice run about. It. Is that kind of what you're saying? Freaking way. So so Kim calls you tomorrow. It didn't work out with Kanye. She says, Adam, <laughs> I had a thing for you years ago. I wouldn't we mind you and I go. It. We did kick it. But but if she calls you and she says, Adam, let's go out to dinner. For tabloid to purposes, sign me up. For but real life. Why are purposes? you turning red though? Why are you your face to lime? Look at his face. Because I'm texting Can with you the right. Look at his camera right. <laughs> He's got a He's bachelor party story for us. Yes, yeah. I've never seen him turn yeah, red. Yeah. Adam's turning red on the <laughs> podcast. I've never Soy seen this boy in the house. So you do have a thing for Kim. So if Kim We're was cool, I have nothing bad to say about if her. Kim, to be honest, if with you. Kim, honestly, if Kim was single, okay, and she had, you have, if Kim was single, yeah, and she sincerely liked you, you mean to tell me you wouldn't go on a serious, you wouldn't have, a, you wouldn't consider a serious relationship with Kim? You say no. <laughs> He's holding out for. Hang on a second. Tell us, it's a sincere. Probably By the not. way, how? Wait, you probably would not. Yeah, I mean, that's not, I mean, to be involved in that nonsense, I'm good. Is the show still on the air? Because if the show's still on no the air. No one's listening. Just so you know, no one's yeah. listening, no one's watching. But I'm asking you, yeah. if Kim had interest in Soy Boy Adam Sosnick, okay, <laughs> a guy who is good in business, fun, yeah. hip, cool, trendy, takes care of his nails, very clean. You can get her into a couple clubs in salmon, Miami, help salad, her out. You know, would you sincerely consider a relationship sure, with Sure, why not? Oh, you would? <laughs> sure, why not? Okay, all right, that's oh, good to know. So all the stuff you just said for others not to do, you... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, do as I say, not as I do, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, we just learned a lot about our... You were going to drop that thing. I was saying no, no, no. You kept asking the question, yeah, sure. But but I think the answer is... I yet. think it, the, the bigger question is which of those girls would I actually date if given the opportunity? Who would be? For sure, Kendall. Really? Yeah. For Why? Sure. Why? I, she's uh, number one, gorgeous, supermodel. Um, she's real, meaning Kylie's. I mean, when I met Kylie, she was 15 years old. Yeah. I knew from the get go. I'm like, this girl is gonna be a whole nonsensical. Now she's 22 years old. She looks like she's gonna look like she's 40 in no time. Lip implants, fake tits, yeah. just facelifts, yeah. billion no dollars. <laughs> yeah, worth a bill. Yeah. I mean, Kendall's not doing so bad either, but. Kendall's just naturally gorgeous, naturally. Yeah, and she like she of all of them, yeah. she stays under the radar as much as she yeah. possibly. I mean, she I think she maybe uh, tolerates privacy a little bit more than the others. So, how, many, how many guys watching this can see uh, uh, Adam and Kim together? By the yeah. way, if, if you can't see, comment sure. below. Let us know.